Hello and welcome. So today's video is going to be all about the assassination of Empress Elizabeth of Austria. Elizabeth was born on the 24th of December 1837 in Munich, Bavaria and she was the daughter of Duke Maximilian Joseph of Bavaria. In 1853 Elizabeth's aunt Princess Sophie of Bavaria arranged for Elizabeth's elder sister Helene to marry her son Franz Joseph of Austria. But when they reached Austria and met Franz Joseph, he actually preferred Elizabeth to her sister. Franz Joseph told his mother that if he could not have Elizabeth then he would not marry at all and five days later their engagement was announced. And then eight months later Franz Joseph and Elizabeth were married on the 24th of April 1854. So because this video is going to be about Empress Elizabeth's assassination and not her actual life I'm going to skip all of that and just go up to the point of when she died. I do have another video planned about Empress Elizabeth's life because she didn't really have that much of a happy one but for now this video is all about her tragic assassination. So in 1898 60 year old Empress Elizabeth went to Geneva in Switzerland. She stayed in the Hotel Beau Rivage and was meant to be travelling incognito under a false name. But someone at the hotel got a little bit excited that royalty was staying at the hotel and ended up revealing that the Empress of Austria was staying there. At 1.35pm on Saturday the 10th of September 1898, Elizabeth and her lady-in-waiting Countess Irma Stare decided to go for a walk. So the hotel they were staying at was on the shore of Lake Geneva, so they decided to catch the steamship Genevieve over to Montreux. So while Elizabeth and Irma were walking along the promenade towards the steamship, a young man approached them and attempted to peer underneath Elizabeth's parasol. The man then appeared to stumble and made a move towards Elizabeth as if he was trying to steady himself. After this, Elizabeth collapsed to the floor and she was helped to her feet by a coachman and her lady-in-waiting, Irma, and with Irma holding on to her, they boarded the steamship. But once they were on the steamship, Irma released her hold on Elizabeth and Elizabeth went unconscious. A call went out for a doctor, but there was no doctor on board, but there was a nurse, so the nurse came over to help. Elizabeth was carried to the top deck of the steamship and she was laid down on a bench. And then Irma cut the laces on Elizabeth's corset so that Elizabeth would be able to breathe better. When she did this, Irma noticed that there was a brown stain just above Elizabeth's left breast. So Elizabeth gained consciousness for a little bit but then soon fell unconscious again. When Elizabeth did not gain consciousness for a while she was taken back to her hotel on a stretcher that had been quickly made from a sail, some cushions and two oars. Back at the hotel Irma and a nurse undressed Elizabeth and this was when Irma noticed a few spots of blood and a wound. And when Elizabeth was moved from the stretcher to her bed, it became clear that she was dead. Two doctors soon arrived and Elizabeth was pronounced dead at 2.10 p.m. Franz Joseph was informed of his wife's death and he gave permission for an autopsy to be carried out. The autopsy was performed the next day and Dr. Gearway, who performed the autopsy, found out that Elizabeth had been stabbed with a sharp, thin weapon. It had penetrated 85 millimetres into Elizabeth's thorax, fracturing her fourth rib, pierced her lung and pericardium and then penetrated Elizabeth's heart. Because the wound was very narrow because of the type of weapon that was used and because of Elizabeth's corset, the hemorrhaging of the blood into the pericardial sac around the heart had been slowed to drops. This is why Elizabeth had been able to walk onto the steamship at first. It wasn't until her corset had been loosened that the blood was able to flow more quickly. So the man that had killed Elizabeth was Luigi Luhini. He was Italian and 25 years old. So Luigi hadn't initially planned to kill Elizabeth. He had actually wanted to kill the Duke of Orleans, but he couldn't find him in Geneva. And then Luigi saw an article in a newspaper saying that the Empress of Austria was currently staying in Geneva. So he decided to go after her instead. 
He said, I am an anarchist by conviction. I came to Geneva to kill a sovereign with the object of giving an example to those who suffer and those who do nothing to improve their social position. It did not matter to me who the sovereign was whom I should kill. It was not a woman I struck, but an empress. It was a crown that I had in view. So the weapon that Luigi used was a sharpened needle file that was used to file the eyes in industrial needles. It was 100 millimetres long and he had attached it to a wooden handle. So after he had attacked Elizabeth, Luigi fled down the Ruder Alps where he had threw his murder weapon into the doorway of number three. He was caught by two cab drivers and a sailor and the murder weapon was found the next day. Luigi appeared before the Geneva court in October. He said that he had acted alone but once it was discovered that an Italian had murdered Empress Elizabeth, unrest swept through Vienna, Austria and there were threats of reprisals against Italians. So the death penalty had been abolished in Geneva and Luigi was not happy about this. He demanded that he was tried according to the law of the canton of Lucerne because they still had the death penalty there. But this was not granted. So Luigi's sanity was questioned at first, but then he was declared sane and he was tried as a common murderer and not a political criminal. Luigi was sentenced to life imprisonment. He did attempt to kill himself on the 20th of February 1900 with a sharpened ring pull from a sardine can, but this was not successful. Though 10 years later, he did indeed kill it kill himself by hanging himself with his belt in his cell after a guard confiscated his unfinished memoirs. So Empress Elizabeth was buried in the imperial crypt below the Capuchin church in Vienna, Austria on the 17th of September 1898. Now questions were raised about the lack of protection Elizabeth had on that day. The Swiss police did know that Elizabeth was in Geneva and they had sent protection officers to be outside her hotel but Elizabeth had noticed these protection officers there and said that she found the protection disagreeable so the chief of police had no option but to remove them. So the day of her assassination she would have normally when she had gone out and about had some sort of entourage with her but this day she didn't want that. If her entourage was there then she might have not been killed because apparently Luigi had been following her for quite a while to find the perfect opportunity to kill her kill her and when he was following her all well, the other time she had this big entourage around her and he just sort of saw his chance when she just had her lady in waiting with her. So you do wonder whether Empress Elizabeth may have had a chance of survival if her maid had not loosened her corset. Because loosening the corset did obviously speed up her death. But if it had been left on and then the doctors had come to her, would they have been in time to be able to do something to save her? Or would she still have died because of how it has pierced her heart. So that is the tragic story about the assassination of Empress Elizabeth of Austria. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!